Hey guys, it's another day here on Pico. We've been here two days now since we came back from Canada. We arrived here on September 19th. Today is the 21st. All I can say it's humid. Humid, humid, humid. Uh, so just trying to get uh, climatized back into uh, the island life. And uh, today we've been kind of cleaning a little bit around uh, the house here. Uh, some of the aerosol trees. Uh, avocado, so much more work to do, but today's uh, the first week. Usually, it's about us just getting relaxed, uh, going to the water. Right now, it's really like, it's like summer weather, so we have to, uh, you know, take advantage of uh, this beautiful, beautiful sunny day. I mean, this is it. All, I think pretty much all over the island of Pico and pretty much of the Azores, it's like this. I know there's some storm coming, Gustavo, or something, but for now, we're going to enjoy it. Laura's doing some editing. Uh, I got some, uh, I actually picked some avocados earlier and some uh, aerosol. And uh, we're going to be heading down to the water, maybe in about half hour to an hour, and go for a dip like we did yesterday, which was amazing. Water, I mean, must have been 24 degrees Celsius. And um, total relaxing. So the funny thing is, before we came here, we said to each other, it feels like we've been away longer than four months. You know, it really did. Like, this is, a, we've never felt that. The other times that we've gone back and forth, okay, we were just there. No, it felt longer. And now that we've been back for one day, it feels like we've never left. So it's, it's a kind of weird feeling. I think a lot of people that go back and forth like this um, kind of get, get what I'm saying. And I think it's actually a good feeling because you kind of come back. It's like to coming back to home. And we go back to Canada, go back to home. You know, it's that kind of two homes. You know, we're, uh, like I always say, it's the best of both worlds. <music> Hey guys, so Hi. you <laughs> probably guessed it, we're not in the ocean and we're not swimming. Yeah. We almost made it and then we thought, you know what, there's this feast here in Somatirsh and it's a very famous feast, it actually dates back to 1700s, 1710 and uh, we obviously know a lot of people here, or we're connected to this village, we said we have to go. We we're already feeling guilty not coming and I think uh, you'll find it interesting uh, seeing a little bit of this feast that uh, has been going on for quite a while and the day is unbelievable. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, the water blue, I mean, would have been perfect for swimming, but you know what, it's also perfect for a feast. And the good thing about this feast is they give you, at the end of the feast, they give you sweet bread. Okay. Yes, we couldn't we couldn't miss that. Yeah, and this bread is amazing. I think it's the best sweet bread in Portugal. It's here. It's this one. So we're gonna t uh, we're gonna test it out, right? Yes. We're gonna taste it, and uh, you bring you along with us so you can take a look. For those of you who have never seen a feast here in the Azores, you get a good taste of it. All right. All right. So we're here at uh, my cousin's tavern here. This is a very old tavern, probably the first tavern in São Mateus. And during the feast, he opens it up and he has some nice food. There's Laura eating her favorite dish. What is this? Favish. Okay, guys. For all those people that know Favish, that miss Favish, here it is. Beautiful. And everybody hangs out here before the procession and afterwards. So this is good. They're going to have a, a band playing here as well. And these are like all the cast of, char cast of characters here. Hey, hi, Carlos. Goodbye. So a lot of people we got to know, we have to come because we know a lot of family, friends, and there is some followers that are staying around here, and hopefully we'll get to meet them for the first time, and you'll get to meet them for the first time. Everybody is uh, hanging out to see the procession go around the village. Wow, look at the ocean today. I just saw my uncle. It's my cousin Reginald. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> All right. So we're just waiting here. What happens is before, after the mass, and before the procession, they stop to get some drinks here in the couple of these little bars here. 
and uh, just behind me there, they're getting ready to come out of the church. It's a small little procession, just to pay homage to the saint, Saint Matthew, Saint Matthews, and I'm glad we came in, we came in today. Just a little break before the procession starts. An ocean break. So this is my favorite color. So I call it the uh, Zorian blue. It's like a blue purple ocean like you see here. And it's incredible. Finalizando com a Vila Harmónica Lira Madalense das Sete Cidades.
the gentleman with the camera there is Mr. Faria, Antonio Faria. He does a lot of uh, videos. He's on YouTube. If you want to see uh, the Azores, check out his channel. Amazing footage by drone a lot of times. He also covers a lot of the festivals. We have a playlist on our, on our channel. I'll actually put a link to it. They're carrying this sweet bread. This is what this feast is known for. And everybody's gonna get some bread after the feast. So now the, the procession has ended, they're gathering here around the church, you see all this bread here, this is all going to be given to uh, anyone here that's on the feast, even people driving by, they get to take home some sweet bread called Rushkilish, that's the proper Portuguese name, but it is sweet bread. And it's, uh, this was an offering made in 1710, uh, I think after the earthquake when this procession started, and uh, hopefully you can hear me, there is a lot of people here in the background. But uh, yeah, it's an, it's, we're glad we made it here to this feast, and uh, it'll continue on in the uh, in the evening. There'll be these orchestras; about three different orchestras will be playing, and then they will put away Saint Matthew, which is the uh, their, this feast is in honor of Saint Matthew. So we hope you guys have been enjoying this experience of uh, just the uh, time and place of uh, this feast. Moment in time here, the Feast of St. Matthew, Somateos, Special Somateos, here in the village of Somateos, Pico Island, one of the nine islands of the Azores in the middle of the North Atlantic. And I'm just, I feel like I'm in the sea of Kushkilish, of sweet bread. Wow, you can be standing right here with the scent of sweet bread. Em nome do Pai, do Filho e do Espírito Santo, Deus manifesta a sua omnipotência e a sua bondade em toda a terra, confia à sua Igreja a benção de determinados elementos, por humildes que sejam, para que todos os que os usem, os usarem piadosamente, invocando o Divino Espírito Santo, se sintam atraídos para os bens invisíveis e bendigam a Deus, porque só Ele faz maravilhas e é admirável nos seus santos. 
O Senhor esteja convosco. Oremos. Bendito sejais, Senhor nosso Deus, que encheis de bênçãos todas as coisas. Concedei aos vossos servos que, servindo-se piedosamente destes bens criados por vós, em honra do Divino Espírito Santo, recebam a abundância da vossa graça para que busquem acima de tudo os bens celestes e progridam sempre na caridade. Por nosso Senhor Jesus Cristo, vosso Filho, que é Deus convosco, na unidade do Espírito Santo. The session is finished, everybody comes to the watering hole. As you can see, there's still quite a few people here, and they all come here to get some, um, some beer, some sandwiches. It's my cousin's tavern, he's been doing this for years. And uh, actually, the sandwiches will be fun as they got here, very good ones. Everybody's gathering, come on. A lot of nice people. I saw some people from the U.S., from Canada, a nice couple here from Germany. They bought a place here. They're all having a great time experiencing traditions of the village, of the island. For the sweet bread. Look at this. It comes around and it's good. He posso ter dois dentro do saco, de um saco. E há dois, se favor, a minha mulher está lá dentro. E estou a filmar isso para aparecer lá na no Canadá. É só só mais um no saco. Ok, obrigado, hein? Tudo bem. And this is what it all happens. The cooks, all the foods made here. We furnish. Wow, tuna. The, be the, the best food in, in San Mateus. Professionals at work. Bianca, get in there. Bianca. Uh, there yeah. She keeps everybody yes, in check. Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Onde as 
Deus gaivotas vão fechar a terra. So, I just wanted to sign out. I know it's been mostly me here on this one. Uh, Laura uh, was actually helping out a little bit and I was uh, in charge of doing most of the filming. She's obviously going to do some editing. But another way to reconnect, aside from going doing our things that we like to do, going swimming and hiking and all those nature things, is also to reconnect with a, a nice festival like this one, which it is. And uh, it's kind of now dying down. People are still having some good time, some nice drinks. and. Amazing favas. For those of you that know favas, amazing. We've been eating a lot of them here. And just congregating with uh, different cultures, Germans and British, Italians and people from Oakville. We met a lot of people here right now from Oakville and Canada. They're amazing. And uh, it's great too that everybody can just get along and uh, in the middle of North Atlantic and, uh, you know, enjoy yourselves, you know, kind of reminisce. And this is what we're doing. So I will sign out and uh, hopefully enjoy this uh, video and got a little taste of what these festivals are like and uh, aside from the religious uh, uh, component to them it's also a lot of fun you know a lot of food and drinking and socializing just a lot of fun and if you ever are on the Azores or one of the islands there's always these feasts and I would I would uh, recommend that you uh, take one in uh, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy them okay so anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe really appreciate that and uh, we'll see you in the next video